It's a great honor to welcome His Royal Highness. Uh, and I think that probably counts as welcoming His Royal Highness. <laughs> so please do sit down. <laughs> hard to believe that it is over 50 years since Prince Philip and I attended the very first meeting of the General Synod. None of us can slow the passage of time, and while we often focus on all that has changed in the intervening years, much remains unchanged, including the Gospel of Christ and his teachings. Of course, in our richly diverse modern society, the well-being of the nation depends on the contribution of people of all faiths and of none. But for people of faith, the last few years have been particularly hard, with unprecedented restrictions in accessing the comfort and reassurance of public worship. For many, it has been a time of anxiety, of grief, and of weariness. Yet, the gospel has brought hope, as it has done throughout the ages, and the church has adapted and continued its ministry, often in new ways, such as digital forms of worship. At the beginning of this new synod, my prayer is that the Lord's blessing may be upon you as you embark upon your deliberations.